Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I uh, was made fun of in high school, uh, not just by anybody, but by the band geeks, uh, and they were already <laughs> on the lowest rung of the social ladder. Uh, no, not very well known fact, but they tend to eat their own. I don't know, has anybody else experienced that in high school? Because they got nowhere else to go but down, and there's nowhere below them. And that, I was underneath them because they made fun of me because I, I hung out with them, but I didn't actually play an instrument. And when I tried out for the, the school band, um, they said that the kazoo uh, wasn't a real instrument. I don't know what the heck they're talking about. I mean, you know, they've got the uh, all sorts of sections, uh, brass uh, and uh, woodwind. Wax wind is kind of in between. Well, it's not really in between, but there's a wax wind section. At least I thought there was. Um, and had Wikipedia been around when I was in high school, I would have likely made a page for it to legitimize the wax wind section of the high school orchestra. <clears throat> Do you want to eat me? I don't know what that means, but I'm going to pretend I didn't read that. Got a top five list here. Actually, I got a, a couple of top five lists, but I'm only going to read one. Uh, both of them are tips for learning to play an instrument. One, the one I'm not going to read, but will post to the blog uh, by Saxophone Maniac. And the one I am going to read from Joe Wilson. Um, and I just kind of chose them, I guess, at random. But they came in at the same day, so I figured, hey, might as well throw them out there all at the same time. Hey, Chris, I've been coming on and off your live stream and chat, and I watch almost all of your YouTube vids. This stuff is great. Anyway, I wrote this list in a hurry to help anybody who is just picking up an instrument so that they won't have to make the same mistakes I made. I'm still having to compensate for some of the things I should have learned early on. So pay attention, any of you would-be band geeks. Anyway, number one, when buying an instrument for the first time, don't buy a really expensive one. It's a lot smarter to buy something cheap. So that if you decide it's not for you, you haven't wasted a ton of money on something that you'll never use. If the instrument doesn't play very well, like a guitar or bass, have the shop assistant set it up for you. They might do this as a part of the buying deal or at a minimal extra fee. Number two, get a teacher. This isn't necessary, but some people respond to a teacher better than others. Some private teachers offer a free first lesson so you can see how you like it or them. Number three, learn at your own pace. There's no need to blaze ahead and try to start playing things that you just aren't ready for yet. I remember trying to learn how to sweep pick on guitar after just playing for a few months. It gave me really bad technique that I've had to shake off before learning to play properly. Number four, learn songs that you like. If you start to learn songs by artists that you like, you'll develop your technique, and it will give you insight into how to compose music for yourself. But remember not to advance along to songs that you just aren't ready for yet. Start off by playing them slowly. This way, when you speed up to the original speed, your fingers will already know what to play, and you'll be ready. <laughs> You'll be better prepared for playing it. I was thinking the word ready, and it came out ready. Then if you had started at full speed. Number five, develop your own style. You don't want to sound exactly like another artist. Otherwise, people might just say, oh, you sound a bit like so-and-so, and then look past you. Whereas if your sound is new and original, you'll more likely become popular. And he's got bonus tips in here. Don't get gas. No, he says gas is guitar acquisition syndrome. This is a terrible disorder that forces your hard-earned money out your wallet, purse, or bank account and converts it into a few pieces of wood that are cleverly stuck together in a nice way with some metal bit attached. Hope you like the list. He's known as Sleepy Gamer in chat and obviously Pepsi on YouTube, a 17-year-old metalhead dude from England. That's how he described himself. Now, I have been practicing... Uh, I don't have the instrument with me, but uh, I will do my best. You will have to pretend this is this here is the uh, whammy bar, and here is the neck. Here, let me, I've been racking it up here. Watch my skills. Ready?
that's Stairway to Heaven. Uh, yeah. That's what you guys look like, okay? Without the actual video game. I need, it was an acoustical set, yes. There's, this is, wasn't corded or anything. Wasn't a wireless instrument. My email address is chris at perillo.com in case you'd like to make fun of me too, which I'm sure you're doing anyway, or in some people's cases want to eat me. Oh, that was my old piano teacher. Oh, she was weird. Anyway, if you got any other tips to pass along, we're typically talking tech and sometimes making fun of people who play Guitar Hero. <laughs> You're welcome to swing by our chat room. Uh, open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We're just streaming this live video out. And we're, uh, you know, swapping stories, talking about, you know, games and hardware and software, tips and tricks about all sorts of things. Maybe you've got your favorite music software you'd like to share with the rest of the community. Feel free to pass it along, uh, but you're welcome to stop by and say hello in the chat room, so long as you do not want to eat me. Uh, you're welcome to join us anytime, day or night. We're at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.